real cases before a real judge. And now, enter the courtroom of Judge Mathis. Plaintiff Leitrick Watson dated the defendant for 10 years, and she claims the defendant is like a broken jack-in-the-box who won't stay in the box. Leitrick claims the defendant is nothing but a liar and a cheater, and she's suing for parking tickets, fees, and emotional distress. Defendant Bobby Young says he's the one who's been trying to get rid of Leitrick for years, but she refuses to go away. Bobby is countersuing because he claims he walked in on Leitrick pouring bleach on his clothes, and she also vandalized his car with a steak knife. Start with you. Well, Your Honor, this um, guy, my ex, he's like a broken jack in a box. He just will not stay in the box. He keeps <laughs> popping out. Um, I met him in 99, introduced to him by a mutual friend, and um, we dated almost 10 years. Um, during the course of the relationship, I've supported him through different endeavors in, in his life as far as him obtaining an education to be a paramedic, other in another school he went to for officer training. I've supported him with his three children. And in 2008, supported I mean... Supported him in what way? As far as I was working and paying the bills, he was living in my household with me. He was not working. He was going to school. And he would give what he could give, but... When he finished school, did he get a job? Mm. Did he help then? Not really, a little. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Really? Yes. You want to get some background? Yes, Your Honor, I would like to. First of all, when me and this young lady met, it was through mutual friends about 12, 13 years ago. I ain't spoke to those mutual friends since then. <laughs> and I'm not going to speak to them ever again. When, I, when we met, she lost her job. I was working. I have a CDL before I went to get my EMT and paramedic license. So she wasn't the one that was working. I was working. Now, I'm not the jack in the box. I've been trying to get rid of this headache for years and years. And I'm like, what do I have to do to rid myself of this? And we didn't date Please. for we did not date for almost so 10 years. Her math is wrong. This ended in 2006 and a half. And that was six and a half years ago. No, 2008. Now, I'm in here. She's telling me I owe her something. I can give you two instances, Your Honor, if I may, that would bring some light to this relationship. One day, she likes to argue over absolutely nothing. And when I say absolutely nothing, if the sun is shining, she gonna argue that it's great over here on this part of the corner. You like, mm -hmm. Please, just let me watch the basketball game or something. She, nope, she's doing this. And I'm like, okay. So I said, I don't want to do this no more. I'm tired of arguing over absolutely nothing. That would make me a dummy, and I don't want to be Lamont. I'm going, I'm gone. So I get my clothes, right? Because I need something to wear to work for the next couple of days. I put my stuff on the porch. I'm going to the kitchen. Now, this is the property damage you're talking yes. about? I'm going to the kitchen because I got um, a corned beef sandwich from a &P that I am not leaving in the house. <laughs> I'm taking it with me. For $8.50, I'm taking it. I'm, a, I'm, I'm gone. As I go, come from downstairs back to the door on my way to the kitchen, who do I see with the door open on the porch? Cigarette in this hand? Bottle of bleach in his hand. Ooh. I stopped and looked like this. <laughs> Go to the door. She pouring bleach on my clothes. Ooh. And not, not only just clothes, I got the only blue jean and leather Sean John suit in Chicago that I done bought from Harlem, New York. Nobody got this suit. Puffy got it. Yeah, he got it. I don't have it no more. It was, uh, it was like, you ever put something on and when you step out, you know you're so fresh because ain't nobody else got it? That's I was just like, all the time, went, just look. Now look, it's all crazy and 15 colors. And then to add insult to injury, she takes a knife. 
<laughs> right down the back of the jacket. What did you do to her? Didn't want to talk. I didn't want to hear it. That was it. That Anything sets her off. She's not psycho like that. She's 730 cuckoo. I promise you to God she is. I wouldn't make this up. If I'm lying, I'm flying. Man, you destroyed a man's things because he wouldn't talk not to you? true, Your Honor. He's very conniving. He's very good. Well, tell me about this property right. he alleges you damaged. I, I have no We'll clue get to the tickets you're about. suing him for, but... He kinda... I have no clue what he's talking about. So he never has a clue? He probably got me confused with some of the girls that he cheated on me through these years. And he says 2006. 2008 was the end of this relationship. It's not true. And four years later, <laughs> he pops out the box again. It's not true. What do you I mean have... popped out? When he, he pops show out, back up yeah, in your he, life? Yeah, he... Jack in the box, just a broken, just boom. You no, keep... dude, don't you swish him back down? <laughs> he keeps... Right about the box. Well, at some point, you're just gonna have to, so you don't keep popping up. You oh have yeah, to I understand. Cut off the head. <laughs> Burn the box. Okay. There you go. Okay. Yeah. Well, and you have any evidence that she did any of this, sir? She says she doesn't know what you're but talking about. Yeah, this was like she never knows anything. So, here we go. A year later, almost to the day. Here's another one of her. Why, 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 why? Ooh. <laughs> Bye. As I come back downstairs, who's outside with a steak knife? Not no keys, with a steak knife. Doing what? Writing her name <laughs> all your in the hood of my car, right? So that wasn't good enough. She slides over here, does the door, <laughs> goes over here, and does the other what, door. Now, I mean, she's going for? down the side. Huh? What was this instance for? Because I didn't want to hear what she was talking about. Yeah, there's something else going on. That woman's not yes, that psycho. Make sense. Jack in the box, just a broken, just boom. You no, keep... no, dude, don't you swish him back down? He keeps right about the box. Well, at some point, you're just going to have to, so you don't keep popping up. You oh, have yeah. To I understand. Cut off the head. <laughs> Plaintiff Leitrick Watson is suing her ex-boyfriend, who claims Leitrick poured bleach on his clothes and vandalized his car with a steak knife. Ma'am, you're psycho like that. It makes no sense for me to go out and scratch up a what? Ninety-seven. Witness have? statement, Your Honor. Oh. Say he has a witness statement, ma'am. From who? <laughs> <laughs> it's like not true. Is that a D? A David? I'll just yes, say sir. the first name. David. David. Who's David? He the only Chinese friend I got. You know who he is. I you don't know. You know, know David, his Chinese friend? I don't know one Chinese person that he knows. No. See? Let's get to the tickets you're suing about, ma'am. How does no. he owe you for parking tickets? I'm suing Bobby Young because I co-signed for um, maybe this Cadillac he's talking about. And, um... He, he had tickets accumulated. Parking tickets on the car, and in January 2012, the city notified me that I'm responsible. I contact him, and I said, "Look, they are kicking me out of a payment plan that I'm in to add additional tickets that are from your car with your mm -hmm. name on it, which I have." You have them? Well, let me see it. Yes. Are you sure you wasn't contacting just because you wanted to? Oh, my goodness. Holla no, I've moved on. Yeah. Oh, okay. moved on from that. I contacted him about this to go to the Department of Revenue with me. That's why I went and picked him up, okay. took him to the Department of Revenue, and he stated to these people that I didn't know him at that time. Yes, I did co-sign for that Cadillac. Uh -huh. So they tell me that if he is not going to enter into a payment plan with them at that time, then they're putting it on me because some kind of way my name is associated with these vehicles. Which well, years did he drive the car you co-signed for? He drove the car in like 2000, 2001, two, maybe till okay. about... Two, okay. What years did you have the car, sir? 2001 to 2000, end of 2002, beginning of 2003. Is that correct? I think he had it to like 2004. If you look on the sheet where the tickets are, it's Yeah, they go up to nine, ma'am. They go yes. up to nine. I don't know yes. who did what. All I yes. can go by is what he's admitting to. He's admitting 01 to 03. Everything else is Those, between you me... all and Chicago, That's not right. me. Yeah, Chicago should no, be up here instead are, of me. Here are a list of... 
A list of what, man? My, see, this is how they gave the breakdown. They said, because I co-signed for this vehicle, I'm being resp held responsible. Somebody needs to update this ordinance for the city. And I took him in there, and he admitted, and he agreed. And they still didn't straighten it out. They said, if he's not going to enter into a payment plan, we're going to put it on you because you are paying. So I had to pay a $200 reinstatement fee. So on June 2nd, my brother and his fiance are here. They come visit me. I take them touring Chicago and up north, and my car is booted. My license are suspended, and it's all a result because I was already in a payment plan. Man, it's not a result of him, man. The only time he ever had any cars, unless I'm missing something, associated with you was from 01 to 04. Now, am I wrong? Sir, if you nope. look at, if, excuse me. I'm not looking at look, anything. Okay. I want you to tell me what years beyond that or before that did he have a car associated with you? And what association was that? Okay, I co-signed for this Cadillac. And he kept that from 01 to 04, right? I'm honestly, I'm really not sure. You said he got I rid of it, it in 04. 04. That's four. what you told me. Now yes. you're saying but you're not sure. Are... Add these up, Doyle. <laughs> One, the two, tickets are dated three, past that. four. I know, but he got rid of it in 04. How are you going to keep trying to charge him for something where I'm he not didn't have it? Him. They're charging me. Well, then for... go and talk with them. He didn't do anything. You don't have any evidence. He owes the city. All seven. right, your claim is dismissed. Sorry. All together. I keep telling you, and you I'm just keep talking. I'm not him. I see what the deal is. Have a good day. Yours dismissed too. Thank you, Your Honor. I'm $3,100 in the hole as a result of your negligence. You know me, and I'm 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 just livid. I don't have anything to say to this. I told the judge she just talks and never shuts up, and he saw for himself. So now I can go home, and I hope that she is out of my life forever. Just leave me alone. <laughs>